ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Live from your local news leader with everything you need to know before you go. You're watching CBS 19 this morning. Good morning and welcome to the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. New overnight, a Flint man is in jail, accused of stealing a Sonic employee's car. The robbery happened just before 11 Sunday night at 102 North Northwest Loop 323 near Highway 64. Sonic employees say this man, Paul Brant Fowler, came inside the restaurant wearing a mask. Police say Fowler asked who owned a car in the parking lot and then demanded the keys. The car owner refused and that's when Fowler allegedly hit the victim. Police say he took off in the car. Tyler police later spotted Fowler pulling into a food fast on Old Jacksonville Highway. He was arrested and booked into the Smith County Jail for robbery. Winona firefighters needed help Sunday afternoon fighting a house fire in dangerous heat. It happened just after noon in the 1100 block of Dallas Street. We're told the homeowner and her kids were at home but got out safely. The heat was a small problem for firefighters at the scene, but no one was injured. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Taking a look ahead this morning, the 50th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King's historical march on Washington. The Tyler Public Library is celebrating the famous human rights rally on Wednesday. There will be multiple showings of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. One will be at noon and the other at 4.30 in the afternoon in the library's auditorium. The film is about an hour long. Well, the Smithsonian's National Zoo has a new cute little addition. Yeah, the zoo released these pictures. Take a look of the panda <laughs> cub born on Friday to mom, Mei Zhang. The cub is only about the size of a stick of butter. Oh boy, it's hard to imagine, isn't it? The zoo says the newborn is doing fine and Mei Zhang is now taking care of the cub. And both mom and newborn seem to be doing fine. You remarked earlier, it does kind of look like Little, little baby is smiling. He's smiling, it? happy to be here. <laughs> he's, he's happy to be alive and kicking. Well, it is another hot day on tap across East Texas. Let's get over to Scott Fossey now. Hey, Scott. Clinton, Dana, your forecast today on this Monday. First day of school for many of the kiddos around East Texas. Temperatures for them as they get started early in the upper 70s. Close to 90, though, by lunchtime. If they've got recess outdoors this afternoon, it's going to be hot. August-like, 97 your high today, down to about 96 between 5 and 5.30. There is a slight chance for rain in our forecast today, but let me show you where. It looks like the best chance will come starting around 1.30, 2 o'clock on. With the northern edge here, this little tropical disturbance, it's moving out of the western part of the Gulf, across the southern tip of the Lone Star State across the Rio Grande and into the Big Bend. The northern part of that may trigger a spotty shower or isolated thunderstorm as far north as, say, the Athens over to Tyler and Longview, Marshall vicinity, generally speaking along and you know, south of Highway 31 or even as far north as I-20 this afternoon, but it'll be the best chance across Toledo Bend and Sam Rayburn country later today. And then the tap shuts off. We'll be hot and dry the rest of the week with highs up close to 100 through this upcoming weekend. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Check out CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. Hope you have a great Monday. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.